Albany and Albany State has chosen to celebrate a really, really great man. Uh, one who has given tirelessly of himself and, and of his time. T. Marshall Jones began a relationship with music at the age of five that would last for the rest of his life. Over the next 35 to 40 years, he would perform, teach, and inspire hundreds, if not thousands, of music lovers on a national and international scale. His love of music is far-reaching, as well as his list of musical achievements, honors, and accomplishments. Well, his ability to, uh, to learn tunes when I say learn tunes, like I could um, come in with a tune at a rehearsal and say, uh, T. Marshall, let's try this. And I'd kind of sing the tune a little bit and then perhaps I would uh, maybe play it on my instrument. And uh, he'd say, oh yeah, that should be a, a C chord there, or, or whatever chord he want to use it. He had, a, he, he had the ability to pick it up real fast. Italy, 35 days of performance in, in Italy. And uh, that was the highlight of my musical involvement with him. Dr. Jones, I want to thank you both on a personal level and on behalf of my students both um, this year and in the past. Thank you for being so nice and so kind I don't think I've ever met anybody who had the demeanor that you have. You are always so even keeled. Thank you so much. And on behalf of all the students and my coworkers, thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being so kind and so gentle. You're a real gentleman. And I hope I still see you, it's particularly at these football games. You're always a good friend of face to see. Thank you so much. During his 33 years of service at Albany State University, T. Marshall Jones served as director of bands, chair of the music department, and later chair of the fine arts department, the position for which he would retire in 1996. Jones would later return to ASU and serve 14 more years as a part-time instructor. Jones is also credited for laying the foundation that has helped transform the ASU music department into the Department of Fine Arts, the academically prestigious program that it is today. He could have the band play 2075 at halftime and really, really bring the students to their feet. He had a balanced uh, repertoire of classical music, jazz, and popular music that we tended to enjoy. Everything was done decently and in order, but we had a good time watching and listening to the bands perform under Dr. T. Marshall Jones. He was and is an institution. T. Marshall Jones has been and continues to be the administrator's administrator because of his ability to understand the practice and the behind the scenes realities of what it means to take a department that is okay and make it a department that is singularly the institution's best and brightest among all of the best and brightest that we have. That is T. Marshall's main contribution to Albany State University. He came with a vision for making our music program the absolute best that could be anywhere in any institution, anywhere on this planet. And he left having achieved that goal, having provided for Dr. Hood and Dr. Bynum the best structure for building upon the considerable contributions that he made. And he made this institution and all of us here better. And he continues to make us better because he is a man who is watching and watching very intently and very lovingly at what we do. It isn't the least bit shy about telling us we need to tighten it up when we do, thank you T. Marshall, and for letting us know when we do it well. You know, this Albany State is, is going to be the place for you and we're, I'll do this and I'll do that. And he made good on his, his word when I, when I came here. Uh, and uh, I've always been appreciative to, to him for that because uh, I've known him as a man of his word for all these years and he, he actually did what he said he was going to do and made my existence as a junior faculty member not only bearable but quite pleasant. Uh, we used to kid about big, having, you having such big shoes to fill. Dr. Bynum followed you as chair of the department, I followed Dr. Bynum, so I feel like I had two sets of shoes to fill. When there were times of crisis, you would always come in and give me 
such warm words, letting me know that things will be okay. I thank you. Where I see his genius is in his ability to inspire music and music making in others. His musical accolades include performing throughout Europe, serving as guest conductor for various musical events in the state of Georgia and throughout the country. His national affiliations include the National Assembly of State Arts Agencies and the National Endowment for the Arts. He has performed on numerous occasions at the Governor's Arts Awards in Atlanta. Jones has served as chair of the Georgia Council for the Arts, and he is the only musician in South Georgia to receive the prestigious Governor's Award in the Arts. His service and dedication to the Albany Arts community is long-standing, as he has served on the Albany Area Arts Council, the Albany Symphony Association, the Albany Museum of the Arts, and last but certainly not least, ASU Jazz Quartet. T. Marshall has served not only his institution, uh, he has served his community, and he has served his state in, in ways that people just will never know. We see the evidence, but I see daily uh, evidence of T. Marshall's vision and dreams living on. T. Marshall had many activities as chairman of the State Arts uh, Commission and, and so many other. I don't see how he had energy to, <laughs> to uh, participate in all of these uh, uh, activities, but he was one who seemed like uh, he never ran out of uh, energy. Not only musically, but just in terms of his overall contribution. There are a lot of people in this community and across the world who are much better because they came in contact with him. Uh, through the Alpha program, there are young men who have been mentored by him and he's made the difference in their lives. T. Marshall can, if you come in tense and tired and at the end of a day and hear T. Marshall play, he just brings the level of tension down. I wish T. Marshall lived in my backyard or close to me <laughs> so I could go listen to him play with great frequency. The other thing that I enjoy seeing T. Marshall do is lead choirs, his church choir. Uh, the, the musical program at Mount Zion is one of the best in probably the southeast if not the country. Uh, if it didn't inspire you, nothing will. Uh, you fail as a human being if it doesn't inspire you and touch your heart. He is a hero to me um, in that uh, I came here, as I said, fresh out of my graduate program with my own thoughts and concepts and my own sense of myself and, and, and where my place in this world was and, and perhaps the fact that maybe I didn't belong here but I belonged in some place greater. And someone like T. Marshall Jones who is great in and of himself but also very humble and also committed to a mission of bringing the arts to where he was and elevating where he is, was a ministry to me that this is where I belong. This is what I needed to do in order to get arts in this community and make them as great as anywhere else. Dr. Jones, you have been such an inspiration to those of us who work at Albany State University, to those of us who work in the Department of Fine Arts, those of us who live in Albany and in Southwest Georgia, thank you for your dedication, your vision, and on a personal note, thank you for having such broad shoulders. T. Marshall, I respect you above all men. You are a person that I have always admired. You are a person who has given vision to the city, to this college campus. Uh, into our state. I like to say to Dr. T. Marshall Jones, even though I wasn't in the band because I neither sing, dance, nor play a musical instrument, did you ever know that you are my hero and everything I'd like to be? I appreciate what you stand for, the way you carry yourself, and I'm proud to be a protege of Dr. T. Marshall Jones. T. Marshall, you continue to be the man of the hour and the man of the year, and in fact, the man of the century and all things musical at ASU. Continue to provide us your wisdom and your advice and your dreams of the ASU that you want us to be, and we'll continue to follow your lead day after day, year after year. 
Although T. Marshall Jones' accomplishments and contributions have been many, his undeniable qualifications as a musician, educator, and director are well documented. His musical expertise on the guitar, the piano, and the trombone are obvious, yet his relationships with students and the citizens of Albany are what he cherishes most. We salute you, Dr. T. Marshall Jones, for all that you've done and all that you continue to do in the field of music.